Even rain or shine head coach Caloy Garcia couldn't exactly figure out how they're now struggling against a Colombian dip side that they once dominated for three straight seasons. Daiko Alam. Dapit Bidyan na kami ng kots ng Colombian A. He joked. Seguro I think they feel that they match up well against us and they hit big shots in the end. We couldn't go to the line, we only had eight attempts today. We're not ourselves. The Elasto Painters are now losers of four straight against the dip after failing to close the gap against them on Wednesday. They still managed to make it competitive late after trailing by as much as nine in the third quarter, but that late fight back wasn't enough as a usually productive offense shot just 37% from the field despite knocking down 12 threes as a unit. More importantly, this loss put Rain or Shine's hopes of clinching a twice to beat berth in the quarterfinals in peril as they've now lost two straight games for the first time here in the PBA Philippine Cup. Mentality Natin has to change. After the long break, Sabi ko sa kanila nagiba yung yagali nila a. Parang naging selfish minded sila. I think we just have to look at what went wrong, what's going on and probably just talk about it. We have one week before we play our next game, maybe that'll help us, Garcia said. With the possibility of other teams taking over them in the standings still looming, Rain or Shine wants to at least make a good case for themselves by trying to beat Miralco in their final elimination round assignment. Garica hopes that a one-week break before that Bolts matchup should help sort out their problems. I told the players in the dugout that we can't perform this way. We played a bad game. We have to learn from this because we have one more game before we end the eliminations. We have to go hard against Miralco if we want to have a chance to get the top two spot, he said. But Yan Yunk again to him now we had a good start to the season. We started 7-1. 